Hello and welcome back to Build Better Rockets. My name's Negative Roots and let's get cracking. I was just thinking today as I was driving home that I had actually missed something. I had to plan to finish the Build Better Rockets series at fall, but here we are for episode number five. So in episode number five, what we're going to cover is some of the more exotic approaches to designing rockets. So we have a payload, okay? So the payload is going to be about 36, well it is 36.7 ton. It's basically a full orange tank. So that's what we want to lift to orbit. Now, I need a, uh, need a decoupler, whoops. You. Okay, that's our payload, and this is something that's going to kick it into orbit, okay? This, this is required, it is what it is, moving right along. So now what we're going to do is we're going to design something a little bit more exotic, whoops to lift the uh, craft up. Now, normally what we would do, right, is we would come along, we'll, oh yeah, drop something here and grab an engine and we'd see how we go. Okay, obviously we're a bit short. Now, what we can do though, is if we have an engine that has plenty of push, we can actually change the way we approach it. Now, of note, this has 2880, or the same as two of these. Okay, that's that's the same. What if I, okay, what if I changed this and did it another way? What if I went something like this? Okay, and then went with a structural times three. We'll go back the fuel tanks, grab the, these like this. Just want to make sure that they're in the right spot. Okay, fuel lines going from out to in. Okay, appropriate staging. Okay, so that gives us the same thing, except the delta V should be higher if I've done it right. So let's have another look with a mainsail engine. So in this, we have a total of 21.76. Ah, oh, it doesn't really get as much, does it? So that is an example of drop tanks. Now drop tanks work when you have the thrust, but you need the fuel. So this is an example where uh, we can get a little bit more because we end up dropping these tanks once they're finished. An even better way of going would it be if you had four of them and then you drop them two at a time. Basically, what you're doing is you're making the rocket lighter as you go along, okay? You're not really dropping the engine, you're just dropping drop tanks so that everything gets lighter. This isn't really a very good example at all. It turned out to be not as effective as I thought it would, uh, but it is what it is. And at the end of the day, you, um, you need to play around with these things. So that is drop tanks. Now, the next thing that we could cover is something called onion staging. Now, onion staging is where you connect the different layers together. We rely on the, on the engines to lift us up, but we can get a little bit more efficiency out of them by approaching the staging in a certain way. Now, what we do is we Grab another engine. Oops. Okay. Make sure they're all in the right spot. So this has a th total of three, two. Now, if I add two simple fuel lines coming out to in. Okay. Redo the staging. So only we get 200 delta V for free. The reason being is we drop these tanks a little bit earlier and uh, just run on this main one. What if we did something like this? Suddenly it gets even better again. The reason being, we have, whoops, let me get everything in the right stage. Three, five for that. Three, four, okay. The reason being is we've got this burning from the start, but as we get higher up, it gets more efficient. The only thing is that it's gonna be a little bit, um, underpowered. So we can tweak that. Let's see if we can get it into a nice range. Actually, atmospheric. 1.5. 
and that had ended up being too weak. But uh, this this is a form of onion staging. Now I could add it again. Okay, get the staging correct. That's correct. Excellent. So that's three eight. Is that everything in the right spot? Yep. And you notice that we haven't really got any further with that. So again, staging is a very effective way because we get to, you know, have an entire stage left after we've ditched the outer stage. Now, there's something else we could do, right? Is what if we move this way instead? And this becomes something called the asparagus stage. So what happens is we drop these outer ones first, okay, they're gone, and then we have these ones, okay, and then we drop them when they're empty and we go to these. And what I'll do is I'll show you on the pad what happens. Uh, yep, yeah, we're going to have enough control because we've got gimbling, so we should be okay. But I just wanted to show you these quickly because they are a valid way of doing it. Uh, drop tanks have been used forever. Um, they're used more often than not on uh, fighter aircraft actually. To extend their range. So we've got our rocket 54321 space. Oh, a bit floppy. We'll just throw it down a bit. Okay, so you can see how that's full and this is draining. The middle one's full as well. Okay, so as we go up, okay, we're going to ditch unneeded weight. We're going to ditch engines that we don't need anymore and generally it's going to be a fun time. I probably need to keep the engines on though. We'll just go straight up in the air so I can show you what happens. And asparagus staging tends to be the go-to design of choice when you're trying to lift something that's probably a bit big. I, uh, I reckon, if I remember correctly, I used onion staging, or a form thereof, to lift the, the big heavy payload in the last one. And I thought I'd just point out exactly what it is. So we're about to lose the outer stage. I'll deploy that. Okay, and now we're to the inner stage. Right, so these are still full. That's great news. So this is still full as well. So as we go up, okay, we're going to gain efficiency in this. We're going to get thrust as well. So you can see that this stage is actually increasing. And the purpose of the entire thing is to ditch unneeded weight early. So as soon as you can, get rid of the weight. And I'm sorry, this is really dark, but that's what happens when you launch at night time. So you can see that this is fairly long burning as well. Might go to the moon here. We'll uh, we'll throttle up. So those um, those decouplers are quite strong. So you can see that we're still working on this. Well, this is still full. So this is a version of asparagus staging, and it is a very very effective way of doing. It. Okay, we're nearly nearly out. There we go. Be gone. So now we're just left with that last skipper stage, and this is going to take forever to burn out. So that is um, how you do an asparagus stage, and it takes some playing around with, especially with regards to drop tanks. Uh, they are very, very handy, and if you can, if you're finding that you have extra thrust. Well, here, let, let me uh, show you. I think is probably the best way. Leave anyway. The best place for drop tanks is where you have the thrust, but your rocket is starting to get really, really, really tall. So, for example, if we had something that looked like. Da, 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 da. looked like this, right? Okay, this is getting really tall, but jump back. Nope, wrong size. Uh, it's the wrong size as well. Okay, structural it is. Okay, let's grab the mammoth engine block. Okay, you can see that our thruster weight is plenty. We could keep adding fuel to this stage and we need to to get this rocket right. 
Okay, but we can't um, we can't go any taller because that's ridiculous. What we could do is instead of um, just keep building it up, is we could add some drop tanks to this because it's got the thrust to weight to carry it. So let me show you how to do that. So we'll do it on the bottom. Three, four. Okay, we'll grab some orange tanks. There they are. Fuel lines. Actually, these need to go into two time. Oops. Two time symmetry. Okay, because I'll do a little bit of a different staging technique. Okay, we'll go two times there, and then two two times here, because this way the symmetry won't screw up when we try and do it. Okay, so we want to go two times symmetry into the middle, and then we'll go two times symmetry from here to here. Righty, -o, let's have a look. Okay, suddenly, all right, our thrust to weight is really, really close to where we need it to be. Okay, and our delta V is also much, much higher. So we can, obviously this needs beautification, um, but we can keep a normal looking rocket, okay? Even, I think we could even do this. We can get rid of this, okay? Throw that on there, okay? We're back down again, but what we could do is add a couple of these on, okay? You can see how I can suddenly, all, all of them, all of a sudden, I can tweak um, some different values of the rocket. Okay, I can add some more to the first part, and add some more to the second part. Okay, and I can get a really nice rocket that's going to work really well. This is where drop tanks are perfect. Uh, where you want to keep that rocket to be actually something normal looking, without it being, you know, 600 meters tall. Okay, this, this is only 25 meters high. Okay, if I was to go back, and I'll show you how it was before. And keeping it relatively compact, like not stubby, but compact, allows you to control it much better. Okay. Now I had like four of these, I reckon. Uh, I'll probably need one more. But you can see that we're at 50 meters tall. That is a big ass rocket. Oh, that's not even the top. There it is. So, allow using those drop tanks makes it more flyable. So, hopefully, that's given you a few ideas, a few more advanced ideas. I rarely use them. Uh, I rarely go to an asparagus staged gizmo. Normally, I stick with uh, with onion staging at the absolute worst because generally, that's that's all I'm doing. But they are valid uh, techniques, and they can be very very effective. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope that you've learned something. If you have a question, be sure to ask it in the comments. Until next time, though, I'll catch you around.